for the next part of this video, for the next exercise, you're going to need some type of resistance band. So I have with me here a Franklin Method band. We're going to be using that today. And we're going to be adding some resistance or strength training some of our breathing muscles. The main one that we'll be strengthening is called the diaphragm, which is your primary breathing muscle. So we're going to take the band and my band is quite long. So if your band is a bit shorter, you can tie it around once. But if you have a nice long Franklin method band like this, we'll wrap it around a few times. So starting with, Opening it up, and you're going to have it on your thoracic or the middle of your back. Then we're just going to wrap it around. And you want it to feel fairly snug. So not too tight, but snug. So I wrapped it around two times, and then I'm going to tie it into a little bow here. All right, so this is providing some resistance for your rib cage and resistance for your diaphragm muscle. So you're going to take some deep breaths in and out through your nose and see if you can push your rib cage out in all directions into the band. And as you're doing this, just notice, does it feel like one side can push out easier into the band than the other? And if you're noticing that, try to make it happen equally. Same on both sides. So we're going to take about eight deep breaths, five to eight as you're just starting out. Don't want to overdo it. So I'm focusing on pushing out equally in all directions. Let's just take two more breaths together. And one more. Okay, so from here, you're going to undo the bow, open up the band, take it off, and you can just drop it down. So now you're going to try to take some deep breaths and notice how easy it feels to breathe. So I really feel like I have a lot of space for my breath. Good, so that is a great exercise to start to help to train the breathing muscles. As I mentioned, when you're starting out, you want to make your repetitions lower. So maybe try five to eight breaths, and then you can build and work your way up as you get more practiced. So I would definitely do this daily. And very important, as you know, when you're on your horse, you want to make sure that you're maintaining a consistent, or a consistent, nice breathing. So this is definitely going to help train that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next.